All right, in this video, we will practice formatting data outputted to the console. Specifically, we will format data to a currency format, so it will be displayed with a leading dollar sign, as well as include two digits after the decimal to represent fractions of a dollar. We will also format data to a percent format, where a floating point number like 0.01 .01 is formatted and output to the console as a one followed by a percent sign. Let's begin by creating a new Java project, and within the project folder, we will create a new class. I will call this class number format example. Now in this example, we will create a program that asks the user to input a number of items, as well as the price for the individual item. The program will then calculate tax for a purchase of X amount of the item and display formatted output regarding the purchase. To do this, we will need to import the scanner class from the java.util package as well as the number format class from the java.txt package. We will be using the scanner class to accept user input from the keyboard and the number format class will be used to create our formatted output. So inside the main method, we will need to create a few variables to store necessary values. The first variable will be of a type double, and we will call it tax rate. Notice the declaration is preceded by the keyword final, and it is also capitalized. And this signifies that the tax rate variable will be constant throughout the lifetime of the program. And therefore, a program will throw an error if the tax rate variable is ever set to a different value. The remaining necessary variables will be an int variable that we will use to store the number of item purchased and four double variables, subtotal, item price, final cost, and tax, all named, on based, all named based on their use case. We will create our scanner object named input that will allow for user input from the keyboard. Next, we will create two number format objects. The first will be called currency format and the second will be called percent format. These objects are what we will be using to format our console outputted data. Notice we initialize these objects by using static methods within the number format class. We will then write the code that prompts the user to input the necessary information, this being the number of items and the price for each item. Once that data is inputted by the user, we can perform the three necessary calculations. The first will be the subtotal, which is calculated by multiplying the number of items times the price of that item. Next, we will calculate the applied tax, which is calculated by multiplying the tax rate by the subtotal. And last, we will calculate the final cost by adding the applied tax to our subtotal. After we perform these calculations, we can output this data to the console. The first line we will output will be the subtotal, and because we are outputting a dollar amount, we will use the currency format object we created. By typing currency format, which is the name we gave to our object, followed by a dot format with the variable we want formatted in parentheses, we are able to produce the desired formatted output. The next line we will output will exercise the use of the currency format object, as well as apply the percent format object we created to produce a percent format used to display the tax rate. Finally, we will display the final cost by using the currency format object once more. So now if we run this program, you can see that we're prompted to enter the number of items, and then we are prompted to enter the item price. After we do that and we push enter, you can see we get our outputted data. 
and you can see that the data is formatted. We have our currency format that you can see in our total before tax as well as the first part of our tax applied and as well as in our final cost. Also we can see that the percent format worked in the tax applied line. We see we have a value of 9% as opposed to 0.09.